And just in case you were concerned that we were trying numbers that were too fluffy, these nice whole numbers like x equals 8 or x equals 2, let's try one that's a little bit more jagged, x equals negative 1.37. So we're going to evaluate this expression when x equals negative 1.37, plugging that in place of each x. Following order of operations, there's our negative 1.37 squared. There's the product with 4. Let's slide all this stuff over and make some room to finish the addition in the numerator. A negative 0.6031. Our denominator is negative 0.37. That final division equals 1.63. So remember, what is it that we were trying to show with this idea? If we take a value for x and evaluate it into our original expression, and then we evaluate it into our simplified expression, they should match up. So if we put negative 1.37 in place of that x and then add 3, what is our result? Of course, it's 1.63. A couple of minutes ago, I mentioned that if we have a way to simplify these rational expressions without having to plug in a number each time to see what happens, then we'd have a way to show that an expression can be simplified for almost any real number that we put in place of x. And you might have heard me say this, almost any. And so now is the time when we're going to take care of this little technicality that is actually pretty important. So pay mind to what we're going to look at here we know that this expression simplifies to equal x plus 3 and that's something we got by doing a factor of the numerator and then canceling binomial factors so now let's talk about what happens if x equals negative 1 I know that if I plug it into the simplified answer negative 1 plus 3 would equal 2 so according to all those examples we just looked at if I plug a negative 1 into this expression it should give me the same answer 2 but what does happen when we plug negative 1 into this expression? There's our negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 3 is in the numerator. In the denominator, it's negative 1 plus 1. So we end up with a 0 in the denominator. This fraction is 0 over 0 equals 2. Definitely, it does not. Something went wrong for this to happen. We plugged in x equals negative 1 and did not get the same result. On the simplified expression, it gave us a 2, but into our original expression, we got something that was undefined, and that was the problem. So one thing you need to learn about when working with rational expressions is understanding that some values for our variable will be just not allowed. In this case, with this expression, x cannot equal negative 1. It is a value that is not allowed, and it's because if that x is a negative 1, it makes our denominator equal to 0. So we're back on this idea about things that can be undefined when the denominator equals 0. It's back in the picture again, very significant. What we could say about this rational expression, x squared plus 4x plus 3, over x plus 1, we could say that x equals negative 1 is not permissible because that's going to make our denominator equal to 0. If x equals negative 1, the expression is undefined, is another, another way you could state this idea, and it's always because that would make the denominator equal to 0. So check in with the teacher that you're using or, or the book to see how it's generally called. It could be one of these different ways, called not permissible, or the value that makes an expression undefined. Let's go for another example of this idea. So the question is, what x values would make this expression undefined? 40x to the third plus 70x over x squared minus 3x minus 10. When we're dealing with rational expressions and the question comes up of making an expression undefined, you can say very safely that the question is, how would the denominator equal 0? We're only talking about the denominator. This numerator, it's not coming into play. Making an expression undefined means to us, how is this denominator equal to 0? Our way to answer that question is, take that denominator 
and turn it into a, an equation equal to zero. If we solve this equation, we'll have the answers to this question of what x values would be undefined, because we would have the x values that would make this expression equal zero. How should we solve this equation? We can solve it by factoring. That's an excellent place to start. Another trinomial pair of numbers multiplied equals negative 10. Added together will equal negative 3. So there it is. Pretty soon we'll, we'll stop talking through each of these steps of factoring and just get to the point. Um, I'll be brutally honest. This, this concept of, of working with rational expressions is pretty much impossible if your factoring is not sharp. So we won't take too much time to go through factoring examples. We'll just assume that that's pretty smooth by this point, and if not, you'll go back and watch more videos, right? Okay, let's finish this one up. x minus 5 equals 0. There's a linear equation we can solve. Add 5 to both sides, and our first answer, x equals 5. And on the other side, it was x plus 2 equals 0. Solve that with a negative 2 to both sides, and we get x equals negative 2. So those are the solutions to this equation. The equation where we took the denominator and made it to equal to 0, those are the values that would make this entire expression undefined. It would make our denominator 0, and that would make the entire expression undefined. The expression is undefined when x equals 5 or x equals negative 2. Now's a good time for you to try an example on your own. So pause the video and take a few minutes to work this problem. We're back to just simplify. So we're thinking for simplify, it's factor then cancel. So pause the video, work the problem, and then come back. We'll look at the solution. Simplifying this expression starts with factor and then it's cancel. The numerator, we have a trinomial to factor. It's x minus 3 times x minus 4. The denominator, it's a difference of squares. Factoring that leaves us with x minus 4 times x plus 4. There's our step 1 factor. Next, what can we cancel? We have binomial factors, so we're interested in can we cancel the entire thing, like an x minus 4 with this x minus 4? Definitely. This x with this x, not interested. When it's in a binomial factor, it's all or nothing. So our answer is x minus 3 over x plus 4. What did we do? We completely factored the numerator and completely factored the denominator, and then we canceled, and then we stopped. We do not want to cancel those x's. We have a few ways of showing why that's a bad idea. Just don't do it.